So the division of a hive is a seasonal manipulation that every beekeeper has to do. What it involves is to take brood and bees from one colony and place it in a new hive to create a new colony. There can be many ways to divide a hive. As many ways as there are beekeepers, in my opinion. So today, I'm going to focus on a very simple method that's effective and that really doesn't require a lot of material. Also, if you can find eggs, you won't be, have to find your queen, which will save you a lot of time. So before dividing your hive, it's important to understand why you're doing it. There can be many reasons. Either you're trying to double the amount of hives that you have, or you're trying to reduce your hive's urge to swarm, or you can just be trying to reduce the amount of population of varroa in your hive. So before starting, the equipment you'll need is a new base, a new inner cover, and a new lid. So let's get started. What you want to do is place your new base like so. Make sure to choose your location wisely because this is where that new hive is going to stay. If you'd like advice on how to find the best location for your new hive, check out our capsule on how to locate a hive. Then what you want to do is open your hive and take the top box from your hive and place it on the new base, like so. So now we have two beehives and we don't know where the queen is, but that's okay for now. All we want is one hive with a queen and one hive without a queen. The next step is you want to go through all your frames and find two frames with eggs. You're going to leave one frame in the box you found it in and then place the other frame in the new hive. Oh great, I found a frame with some eggs. What I should mention is that some beekeepers like to introduce a new queen into the hive right away. However, I like to let the hive rear its own queen on its own. It's a bit more of an organic approach, and if it does take a bit more time, it's definitely worth it. So we have our first frame of eggs in here, and I'm just gonna go make sure that there's a frame of eggs in this hive. Beautiful. So I'm gonna leave this one in here. And of course, make sure there's 10 frames in each box. So now we can close up both hives and come back in a week to see how they're doing. Okay, so it's been a week since we've done our split and now we're going to come check out the hives and see how they're doing. We're going to hopefully uh, deduce where the queen was and see if there's a new queen being reared in the other hive with no queen. Let's check it out. So on this first frame, I can see quite a few eggs. And that's a really good sign. Because that means that the, the queen uh, was transferred to this hive. I know this because the queen lays eggs every day and they only stay eggs for about three days. So since it's been a week, she has to be in here. All right, so I'll put this, this inspection on hold and I'm gonna go check out the other hive. What I expect to find in the other hive is at least a few queen cells to show me that this hive um, is building a new queen. So, let's pull out a frame. So in this frame, there's a lot of queen cells. And that shows us that the queen didn't stay in this hive. And what, we, what was nice is that we left them the frame of eggs, and so now they're rearing their own new queen. This is perfect. I can close this hive up and let them do their job. We wouldn't want to remove these queen cells, because that's really the future of the hive that we hold in our hands. Great, so now I can uh, close up this hive and uh, continue my inspection on the first hive just to make sure that there's no queen cells and they don't want to swarm and that'll be it. So I now have two hives, which is great and there's a lot of benefits to having two hives and I suggest you check out our article on how to share between two hives and potentially save one hive that maybe doesn't have a queen.